Well, that would explain it. Chicken runs away and giggles. It's in progress. Everybody knows that, Brian. Floating shine face. Gibbity McLilligly. What are you talking about? You want the heart. Smacking each other around with the hot mops. Are we ready to go? There I am. There I am. Tony, are you drinking? <laughs> I am. Tony says, Three, look at my clock. Two. Welcome to the XYZ Podcast. This is episode 33. I am Millennial Producer Tony. Joining me as always are our hosts, Gen X Brian. Cheers, everybody. And Gen Z Winston. What it do? Yeah. <laughs> now you get the finger wag. Is that part of it? Now Now that you yeah. know you're being watched, you have to add yeah. some uh, some choreography to your, uh, to your yeah, greeting. Man. I'm like a K-pop idol. <laughs> Is that what they do? I thought they did the hearts or the, you know, like, what? Yeah. Peace <laughs> of this world. Whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't care. <laughs> okay this is this is probably a uh racially insensitive question or maybe perceived stereotypical but what? start, what start way. off strong <laughs> yeah this, what a way to start <laughs> it's an innocent question though actually i'm gonna voice this in the most pc way possible because i'm curious Let's hear it. when i worked at the theme parks we had a lot of guests from asia Oh. And I noticed that <laughs> what's with the peace sign when taking photographs, everybody. Hold on, other, always, yeah, it's the other way. Well, it's always fingers towards you. What is, what is that? <laughs> That's what we've been trying to tell you that you've had a filter turn on for like months and you didn't believe it. Like me and Tony were trying to convince you that you had it turned on and you just didn't believe that that was a thing. Well, this um, is this that's an Apple thing. If you give it, you know, hand gestures. Uh, but I didn't realize I, I didn't realize it, it goes was, through Zoom too. Like that's super well, weird. Well, it's it's my let's see. If you do this, the hearts will fly out. Yeah, I don't know. See, now that we're trying to do it, okay. I don't even anyway, know. I was circle. doing. I was doing. <laughs> yeah. Peace out, Listen, A-Town. It's always, always fingers towards the other person. This way, yeah, not doing it, so good in it, some it, other it, countries. It, it, this yes, is, it, yeah, this is yeah. the the English F you. Yes, know? exactly, yeah, okay. exactly. Yes. But but here it brought balloons. I'm not sure how it did yeah. that. But back to my original question. All right. Why do a lot of Asian tourists throw up the peace signs when taking a picture? Sure. I think it's a, a, a <laughs> the reason why we all do this is because it's it started in Japan, right? It's like a kawaii thing. It's like what oh, does that mean? Cute. cute. It's just a cute thing. I think it's also like maybe bunny ears or cat ears. Or I don't I don't know. People do this a lot too, and then it's just this. It's weird. I I don't I don't know the origin of like the peace sign. You didn't um, get a memo like <laughs> no 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 day, good first grade. Listen. No, it's kind of built in once you get popped out of your mom's womb. You know, it's yeah. Just like yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say it's like you're question, supposed yeah. To, yeah. It's like being Asian. It's like you got to know how to use chopstick and say how to do the peace sign every time you take a photo. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, no, it's cool. I just never understood it. I'm like, are are they really for? Well, you know, every, these people really want to know that, like, peace, man. Yeah, I'm on vacation. I, I don't think it's peace. a peace thing. It's just like, so well, what okay. Is, what does that mean? So okay, so in Vietnam, at least for for <laughs> more right, you gotta turn you gotta turn this balloon filter off. But anyway, so in Vietnam, I'll I'll, I'll give you like the Vietnamese definition of what I I consider like you know why you we are use. our resident Asian. So yes, hopefully. you're right. So I can't, but I can't speak for the rest of Asia. I can speak for Vietnam, right? <laughs> That's so fair. in so in Vietnamese, you do this. This is number two, right? But <laughs> yes, the number yes, two, that, right? But number two in Vietnam is pronounced high, kind of like a oh. like high, right? Like you're saying hi. So like a lot of time when you greet people, you can also do this and be like hi, right? Or you know when you take photos, you will like throw up your finger and be like hi type of thing. Is, is that like in place of cheese? Yeah, pretty you... much. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and so it's like it's like a greeting. It's like a greeting. Like if you ever like keep your photo and you want to share it with other people, you're like basically saying hello oh. to them by doing this. So that's what I think Vietnamese people do. I just realized this doesn't this conversation doesn't make any sense unless you're seeing it. So for people that's listening, I'm holding up two fingers and doing right. Yeah, sign. well, I thought yeah, the peace sign. I yeah, was saying like, how all Asian, all the all gay Asian guests <laughs> would hold up the, <laughs> Asian guests would hold up the peace sign right. while taking photographs in front of you know the. There we go. This is just this is comical. Jeez, this okay, <laughs> speaking of sharing things, we have another piece of listener mail 
Oh, I'm nice. going to shout out uh, a listener, Jude. I won't give their last name, but hey, Jude. Yeah. yeah. Who sings that, Winston? Do you know? Yeah, of course I do. Bon Jovi. No, I'm kidding. It's the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is it the, the Beatles? Dang it, Winston. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought it was no, just right. Paul McCartney. So I didn't know if it was no, the Beatles. Or it's, not. He's, yeah. he's the writer of that song, but the Beatles performed. Yes. Okay. Um, All right. yeah. nice Jude done. wanted our take on a small TikTok trend that I think we're a bit late on now, but um, <laughs> the Dirt Man. Either of you familiar with the Dirt Man? Well, no. <laughs> I learned about TikTok trends from this show right here. So if if you don't know it and Winston doesn't know it. I do not. Winston, you're not familiar either. No. So it's, it's is one this of another, the... Is this another sign of Winston getting old? It sure is. Oh, <laughs> it sure is. Oh, okay, so wait. So, Jude, so, you stumped him. Yeah. So so I, I've been trying to like, I guess it never crossed Unk? onto my- Uncle? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Unk, uh, th- that, that term has like been freaking haunting me ever since like two weeks ago <laughs> since I turned 25. <laughs> since you turned to the ripe old age. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so it's like, it's not fun. But no, so I've, I've, I've never come across- the trend nor have like i try to seek it out because i'm like i know we're going to talk about it in the podcast so I'm dirt gonna... man yeah. dirt man sand dirt man. man no dirt man dirt man dirt, dirt man. for dirt dirt for dirt man dirt yes i thought it was <laughs> the sand man for some no, reason you're, you're making that up it's dirt for dirt man <clears throat> okay okay all right okay. So, so let, let me what's see that about? so since none of us that this must be our our younger gen z listeners where this is a gen alpha brain rod let me oh, see if i can dirt man so, so we're it looking started, at, uh, it started with this song. We're guys. We keep a little dirt under my pillow for the dirt man. <laughs> In case he comes to town. Catchy. <laughs> what? So he won't take me down to his lair. So that's yes. oh my gosh, that <laughs> was hilarious. We're guys. <laughs> Thanks, Jude. That was really funny. I have never seen that, but I love the fact that the dude's like singing nonsense, but then you have the other guy, which is the dude, like questioning yeah. his nonsense. That's so it's hilarious. just this catchy little song that <laughs> yeah. this guy came up Bossa with. Nova vibe, yeah. Yeah, it's a vibe for sure. It just became a thing <laughs> that it's like, oh, it's a guy thing. And guys, what is, yeah. oh, what I gotta if, go out, gotta go out tonight and get some dirt to put under my pillow. It's kind what of like if, the hat man. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> who's the hat man? <laughs> no, the hat man is what I like what people say uh, when somebody is really high off shrooms and you're just like, you better watch out for the hat man. <laughs> it's like inside the same space. Anyway, Maybe Jude but, is the dirt man. And that's, this is the way he's going. Right. I guess yeah, how many, how many views does that have? Just curious of like how many, how many people that have one seen... had a, that one has a lot. Cause that's the original video. So yeah. it's got like 6 million or something. So, is there nice. like something that like spun off of it? Is it like a meme to just be like, oh, and it's the dirt man. We're going to. And then you gonna... got people doing their own versions of it. Yeah. Like, is it like the cream, the grimace shake type? Or right. you know? I think or, there yeah. was a lot of people that were doing their own version of the song. And then mm. it just the concept of it became it's... a thing anyways. See, I, that was funny. Like, I find that completely hilarious. Just nonsense and a, and a catchy little tune. And a guy making fun of is the it... fact that he wrote a song about a dirt man. But the dirt man is not even like, he's not even like as cool as the, you know, the two fairy. At least the two fairy, you put your teeth <laughs> underneath. Like, you know, you get some money. In, in well, that's, that's why just... you have the counterpoint of like going, what? I don't get this. It's like, no, you didn't hear. You got to put dirt under your pillow so they don't drag you <laughs> underground. Like, yeah. that's insane See, really kind of sin- a sinister song he's yeah he's yeah. I don't bribing want, like you know i don't want the dirt Reaper. man to, i don't want to i don't want the dirt man to have his way with me that's kind of it sounds healthy. like he's the undertaker i mean if you think about it oh does, <laughs> does, does the dirt does the dirt man roll his eyes back <laughs> it sure does i don't know man but you hear a loud see. bell ding <laughs> that's every it. time the dirt man and shows the lights up. go out yep, yep. <laughs> dang See, oh, it's, it's masked hilarious. by that catchy bossa nova tune yeah exactly <laughs> all right now to be thing. fair if we get back to this brian has turned in his wrestling coin for the evening that's fair what you you, you said the, undertaker? the undertaker come on that's, brian that's a wrestler no 
I was 100% no. referring to the Grim Reaper no. and the Grave Digger. No, no, me and Winston know Undertaker. what you're talking about. We both went the right direction. <laughs> you guys, you guys that's took it the right direction. Your wrestling direction. token. <laughs> okay, that, that's that's fine because I will never ever speak about <laughs> so wrestling. So if listen, if I bring something up, my token is not re- not turned in. I'm gonna light some balloons for that. <laughs> I, can, I can assure you, if I spent a wrestling token, I was not gonna use it later. <laughs> and and for the record, that was actually the real Undertaker, from which the wrestler gets his name. The man who digs the grave. Nobody then, calls Brian's, the Brian Reaper just dropped that coin out of his pocket. At all Literally. <laughs> he didn't know he did it, but he did. Um, exactly. More business Fine. to attend to. I need to make another one of my corrections. Oh, my I gosh. I just say things sometimes. <laughs> that's that's our whole show, man. Well, that's true. <laughs> People are coming to this show for facts, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually... Uh, listen, I give myself 75, maybe 80% correct. Know, you, so, you were drinking a lot last, last episode. I you? was. Listen, I was the only one <laughs> drinking so that would be my excuse. um i we, we had a discussion about tramps and bums and hobos, hobos. yeah um my correction is on tramps hobos like to travel and like to work bums like to neither work nor travel bums tramps however like to travel but not work i had it backwards they like to travel but correction. not work yes i know a lot of tramps then Tramps like to also get on the trains, but they don't want to pay for anything, apparently. Right, wow. and tram stamps so. are not something to send postage by. <laughs> no, that's when, they, that's when they'd be branded so you'd know about it. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Back to the hobo, hobo uh, markings. Yeah. Um, well, another thing good. that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shove in while I'm shoving things in here. Excuse me? That's what she said. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> Did everybody see that Pat say Jack is retiring? Who? First of all, yes, and how did you pronounce his last name? Say Jack. <laughs> okay, the way it sounded like you said, did you hear that Pat Say Jack is retiring? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> Wait, who's Pat, Pat Say Jack? Jack? Say Jack. Vanna White is his cohort. I've his... heard him. Oh, man. Does, doesn't ring a bell. Does not ring a bell. Wheel of Fortune, man. Oh. The, I'll watch it. The host of Wheel of you, Fortune. You, you don't for have to watch it. Decades. You have to know what it is. It's been around. I know of since... it. Yeah, but I don't, don't know who that's Pat Sajak is. I only know the Vietnamese host of the of Vietnamese version of uh, Wheel of Fortune. Oh, what is I, that called? Hold on. Who is what? the Vietnamese host? <laughs> yeah, they have a Vietnamese version of Wheel of Fortune. In Do they have a little short guy and then like a, a tall woman to turn the letters? Yeah, of course. I think, I think, <laughs> hold on. Vietnamese Wheel of Fortune. Uh, yeah, totally Hank a thing. Nevins. <laughs> Where can I no, watch No, what this? am I, hold on. No, that can't what be right. I, who's the, who's the Vietnamese host of... <laughs> <laughs> Is what this is gonna happening? be last last time we did an episode? We talk about exhibit. Now it's just gonna be <laughs> this random Vietnamese guys that we're gonna spend 20 minutes on just digging up his dirt. Well, but we I, just found out there. So there's a Vietnamese wheel of fortune. Have you watched that? Did you watch that in Vietnam? Oh, oh. yeah, it was great. There's okay, there's, there's a Vietnamese version for like a bunch of American like uh shows. So like See, last time we talked about Gap J- Japanese James shows, Japanese, Japanese, game Japanese. Shows. Oh my I'm not the God. only one. <laughs> Japanese, Japanese yeah. James show. Yes. Thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so everybody here. have a sip. Yeah. So, okay. So, I think the the way the way it's done is so Japan starts something, then America copies it, and then Vietnam copy America. This one's the this was absolutely an American game show. This is American I example have pie. found I have found the hosts of the Vietnamese version. Oh, nice. I will not endeavor to even bother pronouncing these names. Well, just, why don't you have the Vietnamese guy try and give it a whirl? <laughs> I, I just, haven't found it. That's the issue. Well, Tony can share his screen. Okay. Okay. So you watched Wheel of Fortune in Vietnam with yeah. the, these guys. Okay. So yeah. you know of the show, but you didn't know that Pat so, Sajak and Vanna White were the hosts. Well, I guess Pat Sajak's the host. Vanna White turns the letters, and she's done so for years. Yeah. I I did not I did not know that, but I was I was gonna go through my list of like Vietnamese shows that are a copy of American shows. So we have <laughs> as we if have... you had like you have it at the ready. Oh, okay, I got the so name. that's the host. This the second is the uh, letter turner. Okay, so the first the host is Boy Duc Bao. Okay, but apparently he only hosted a year. Twenty fifteen. No, I'm only giving the 
The most recent. The guy. most okay. recent ones. Okay, and then I guess that's when they stopped doing it, right? Twenty sixteen looks like the okay. last year. Mm. And then Hum Yum, I don't know who she is, but that's probably who I saw growing up because she's she was doing it from twenty or two thousand nine to twenty sixteen. Okay. Uh, but back to what I was saying. So so there's Vietnamese Wheel of Fortune. There is a Vietnamese Idol, which is a, like American Idol. That makes sense. Um, Apparently, there's a Vietnamese mass singer now. Did did not watch that because I was over here already. I watched the American version, and that's uh, trash too. So yeah. it's okay. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> Vietnamese, uh, the Price is Right. And there you price, go. Yeah, and then I'm surprised. I don't know if there's a Vietnamese Jeopardy. That's that's what's. I should look that up. I hope there's an Asian guy with a mustache that hosts. It would it. be it would be so great. Um, that's uh, just that's like the classic game show block. Yeah, his Wheel mm-hmm. of Fortune mm-hmm. and Jeopardy back to back. Yeah, yeah. There's no, uh, there's no, there's no Vietnamese Jeopardy. So I guess they have that, a showcase okay. showdown in the uh, Price is Right. The Price is Right is a thing. Yeah, I was just telling you that. So that. But at cool. the end of it, like I, so when Tony and I stayed home from school, is if we were ever stayed home the, sick, yeah, ultimate stay at home sick. Show. Yeah, 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 yeah. And because you're what there's nothing else on TV, so suddenly you're a kid who's staying home sick, and now you get to watch all these game shows that are playing during that before right. the soap operas come on. That's and it. So yeah, it went you, from the Today Show to something worthwhile watching back into soap operas and you know, <laughs> right again. Right. I would watch those shows at nighttime. Like that was like primetime TV for Vietnam. Like that's what's on at like. Well, so, yeah. So that's weird because Wheel of Fortune was nighttime, and and Price is Right was during the daytime. Yes. Mm, okay. This Jeopardy yeah. right in between. It's like evening type thing. <laughs> Again, um, Wheel and Fort- it is. Wheel of Fortune actually, and Jeopardy yeah, were always back to back. Oh, okay. It was like seven o'clock and seven thirty was okay that, that game show hour on a gotcha. station. Um, have they have they announced a new host? I'm oh, not up on my Wheel of Fortune stuff. news except this. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Does anybody really keep up with Wheels of Fortune news? There's six people in chat right now. Does I any feel... of you guys watch? Or <laughs> cares enough about like who's gonna host the next Wheel of Fortune? There's a bunch there was of there was a big stink about but... yeah. Well, there was a, there was a big stink about who hosted Jeopardy, but yeah. Uh, yeah. If my my late grandmother were here, she had a, a vested interest in Wheel of Fortune. I watched that show a lot over there. It was. <laughs> I was gonna say was... I feel like it's an older person thing to be overly invested in it, but yeah. I also remember. Well, didn't you in play college? I mean, like... Well, in college, I would be there was a large chunk of time where I was like, oh, we gotta get back. It's almost seven. Clock, I got watch shows. <laughs> but I have found over the years that people tend to be either a Wheel of Fortune person or a Jeopardy person. Right. Oh, yeah. What? It's Wheel like, of Fortune I'm a too ge- commonplace, huh? You gotta look it's, down see, listen, nose. It's, it's, a- it's a separation for <laughs> sure. Cause like, yeah. I I love Jeopardy. I have I have done the Jeopardy test online to try to get on for years now. We should um, we should test it again. We should we should get you on the show. Dude, I watch so that can... show. I get excited if I can answer one in the category, no, or if there's a category like that I know and I can answer more than one question. I'm happy if I answer Tony, a couple questions. Tony, I'll ask Jeopardy. you this, That's right? It. If we can get you on the show, would you rock our merch on the uh, on <laughs> oh, the show? Oh, absolutely. That would be like so. They after the first commercial break, they come back in the middle of the first Jeopardy round and have like a fun. Fun fact, yeah, I would. Oh, fact, hell talk yeah. About this. I yeah. host yeah. the podcast with two other guys. It's That's, called. Uh, uh, yeah, podcast. and then he's just oh, like, yeah, yeah he's yeah. just holding up the there shirt. That's what we need to do is we need to get Tony on the show somehow. We're going to keep Ooh, reapplying. Is it, I, do you pay money to like apply to be on there or no? You no. take an online test that is very difficult. And, yeah. well and if you're good that. enough, then you pass that first round. Then they send you an invite to one of like 10 different cities where they're having like in-person trials and then you have mm. to pass a test there man like i think get Tony's on a list pretty smart but show. i don't think he's jeopardy smart it depends on the categories listen they start getting into like authors and politics and stuff i'm like ah yeah ew. yeah otherwise i can bubble my way through pretty well sometimes we should try yeah. it though we really should try it. i feel like that's worthwhile but anyway, speaking of like things old people enjoy, uh, so I finally <laughs> actually sit down and listen to the Michael Jackson album Thriller. Yes. <laughs> oh yes. And, like, yes. Uh, yeah. So I oh. wanted to I wanted to give you guys my my feedback on that Thriller uh, review. <laughs> So, oh, that's I, I'm so first of all, I'm so excited that you did that. I, I cannot state enough how influential of an album that was on me as a child. Yeah, I had my vinyl copy of it and listened to it and read the lyrics and read who wrote what songs and read who yeah. played what parts front to back pr- hundreds of times. So I am right. so excited. So you pressed you <laughs> tapped a couple of buttons and yeah. And- <laughs> and, and, and dialed it up. Let me, and, let me, before, before Winston gets into this, 
nine so tracks on this, this album. All right. Yeah. Nine so you tracks. Should, you, do you want to list them? So those I'm going to list them by because track with Tony. Because yeah. I think there's two songs on here that are weak. And that's, okay. I thought that you were going to say new. Okay. No, yeah. no, no. That's fair. Want to be starting something? Okay. Is weak. Maybe. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. I was going to say we're, yeah, yeah. we're going to fight. Okay. No, 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 like no. if you're calling that one weak, yeah, we got problems. Okay. Baby, be mine. The girl is mine. With Paul McCartney. Yeah. Thriller. Beat it. Billy Jean. Right. Wow. Human nature. Oh, come on, man. Pretty yes. young thing. And the lady in my life. Two, okay, two so on I will there. Say, yeah, two on there that are sure, kind yeah. of meh. And that's yeah. and yeah. that's not even they're not even that bad. Yeah. Right. Right. Just, and they're they're just not huge hits like the rest. But the but the track four to six, like the three peat run that from Thriller beat it to Billy Jean was an insane. Yeah. Like, those those are run. three of the biggest oh, yeah. pop songs yeah. of all time. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm listening and I'm like, this is freaking amazing, right? But anyway, so I'll give you my Did you listen? Do you know by if any chance if you listen to the remaster, there was a 25th anniversary 25th anniversary remaster. Whichever of the album. version was on Apple Music was the one okay. that I listened to. Because so, man, they did a remaster and it sounds amazing. So I was gonna say, and that's the reason why I got into it was because I, I ended up looking back at the um the Apple hundred best <laughs> album list or whatever. So obviously I started at the top. I went to the Lauren Hill. Is it Lauren Hill? Right? Yes, Lauren yeah, Hill Lauren, is number yeah. one. The Miseducation yeah, yeah. of Lauren Hill sucks. Couldn't get into it. Got it out of there. I got one song you, deep, it, and I was like, "This the, the album is great. <laughs> it's great. Is it? I, is it? Yes. I, I couldn't no, get I, into it. I'm sure. I'm sure if I try, I can. But it's just like on first listen, it sucks. So I got right. rid of it. So yeah. I went to Michael. Okay. I know. I know Michael. I like his music, right? So I was like, but I'm not. Not once have I sat down and listened through Thriller from right. beginning to back. So I, that, that's what I did. And I, I'll give it I'll give it an eight out of 10 is I wouldn't say it's a 10 out of 10 by any means. But I will say the best song on that album is The Girl Is Mine. Like, that's oh. my favorite song on the that's album. Despite song, man. despite wow. Thriller being on there, despite, you know, Billie Jean and Beta being on there. The Girl Is Mine is a very smooth, calm song. And I really liked it. Brian, you hate it. But I want to be starring something is the worst song on the album. And what? I, no, I, I couldn't, are get, you into kidding I couldn't me. get into it. I just, oh my gosh, that was such a jam. I, I don't, I guess it's the way that the beat is. I couldn't get into it, but like, I like the lady in my life. It's like a calm, smooth song. That's the one. Is that that's is Paul McCartney song. on that? No, no, the, the girl is mine is the one with Paul McCartney. The girl is mine is the one with Paul McCartney. Okay, so that's the one that's like my favorite, right? Mm -hmm. And the lady in my life is it's it's smooth, it's calm, and I really like that. PYT is forever like pretty young thing is great yeah, yeah. although and that, I would even say might be problematic if we right. think about it <laughs> and I would even say Billy Jean and uh, PYT might be better than Beat It and Thriller if I'm being honest like I so, I don't know if it's because how much I've listened to Beat It and Thriller that that I'm like I like Billy Jean and PYT more. Okay, well Thriller was a worldwide phenomenon with the video, right. and yeah. so I think yes. that and Beat It that, had Van Halen on it. Eddie Van Halen does the guitar solo on Beat It. Yeah. Which is yeah. pretty cool. Oh, yeah. That's great. But it's yeah. a really good album, is what I've like. I, yeah. I really yeah. did mm -hmm. enjoy it. But but I almost gave up on it because of want to be starting something. I really How did is not. That, come up, Mama I Say, Mama Sama, Mama How is the that? The reason not that song jam? is number one is because it's such a good song to start the album with. I just yeah. couldn't yeah. hook of the it. album, man. Exactly. I, I could see it. I could see it being the hook. Like it, it sounds like it's a hook. It's like this is what we're starting out with. But it's the uh, slower track that pulls me in more than that. Interesting. Yeah. Cause that, cause okay. yeah, I, yeah. Uh, the Tony favorite track off there, right? Billy Jean, yeah, that might be my favorite th with Thriller with a, as a close behind, and then beat so it. Do you associate them like Im immediately? Beat it, Billy Jean, uh, Thriller. I associate with the videos, like yeah. in, that's that's cemented in my brain. Thriller, I absolutely do. Yeah. I don't, one's I don't remember much. the beat it music video. Is that the one with the black leather jacket or no? No, right? it's the red leather jacket i if thought it was if, a thriller music video that he had well, that his, his jacket was red with like some like pointy the, shoulders yeah the, the the beat it one was red with all the zippers and, and he was like wearing the, the blue shirt right okay yeah yes. I, I don't yes. remember that music video as much but i'm mixing it up it's i'm mixing the uh the bad I'm bad with uh, beat it. That's music. the black yeah, thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I can't. Yeah. yeah. I, I always think of that video. I think of the weird Al version fat, which was hilarious. <laughs> it's a good I'm one. Fat. Yeah. Um, listen, he also had eat it. Eat it. Yeah. He's eat been it. Before, yeah. actually, before that, eat it was an early, early weird Al. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Now, now um, we're bro- we're broadcasting to all the thirteen-year-old boys demographic. We're talking Weird Al. Right. All things Weird Al. Yeah. Well, all think, Weird Al fans are at least Al thirty now. Universally yeah. loved. I think he's yeah. just like he's just he's great at what he does. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> so so yeah, that's that's my rating okay. of that. And then speaking of, uh, let me get through all my points here. Uh, let me see. So speaking, <laughs> let of, me check my notes. Uh, I wanted to uh, converse about. So. Uh, speaking of getting old, uh, I <laughs> man, I'm feeling like these are digs at me all along the way. No, yeah, for one. <laughs> no, I really, I really am feeling like I'm getting older because uh, there's, and this, this is the reason I, it gone to the point where I'm watching a TikTok and <laughs> I'm having the same reaction that Brian would have to this video where it's like a person had posted a video and they had written a caption and I, I read it. And I read it and I read it and I read it and I couldn't figure out what it was that they were <laughs> oh, saying. Oh no, the Gen Alpha slang is yeah. befuddling Winston. And and I couldn't figure out whether or not it's the brain rod that's like so bad or if it's just I'm getting a lot older. But I'm well, gonna more I'm gonna sophisticated. Read yeah, I'm gonna read it to you guys. Oh, I'm excited. I, yes. And I want you guys to attempt to decipher. Do I have to like send some information down to my daughter and be like, you can you, trans- can you translate this message for us? We're exactly. old people up here. Okay. So I, I know what it means, but I want I want to see if you guys okay. can figure it out. So the caption said, when you heart launch a guy who split the bill to your sprinkle, sprinkle friends. Wait, wait, wait. What's sprinkle, sprinkle friends? You got to figure the, that, that out. This is, this is this the is game, the Brian. Don't... Yeah. <laughs> okay. So because of Winston, I've learned about soft launches and hard launches. Uh-huh. Right? And if- Talk if... about that part, right? Yeah, that's like straightforward. Okay. You hard launch a guy. Okay. Well, let, let me let me make sure. Let me repeat it back to you as my understanding. It's, it's when the- How you announce your dating status- if it's a soft launch, some a photo here or there. Yeah, you, know. you kind of tease. Yeah, Te- yeah right. And yeah. then a hard launch. Hey, here's me and my girlfriend yeah. gotcha. or boyfriend. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This girl is saying when you hard launch a guy who split the bill to your sprinkle sprinkle friends. Split, split the, the bill. bill to your two. Sprinkle. So let's let's figure out sprinkle sprinkle friends. Yeah, sprinkle sprinkle friends sounds like friends are too into themselves. Oh my Nobody God. split the bill too. Hold on, Did pause. Just get it. No, um, my fucking explanation got deleted because this this girl turned off her comments. <laughs> Are you shitting me? I can't even re-explain it to you. Okay, but okay, I I have a gist of it, but I don't. If, didn't you type it? Can't you remember it in your brain? I didn't say. I didn't. I didn't type it. I saved the video with the comments so that I can look at it later. But the because fact the that comments she explained her, it. Yeah. yeah, the fact that she's getting so much flag for it, she turned the comments off. So now I can't even. People read are it. probably asking for an explanation of what is this weird ass slang. Exactly. That's Nobody what knows that what is. split the bill to your sprinkle sprinkle friends means. That's so, weird. Okay, so Tony, do you have a quick guess as to what this sentence means? So I'm trying to. <laughs> well, so sprinkle sprinkle friends sound like friends who are too high maintenance. Interesting. I wouldn't. And get, that. um, split the bill. Two split the bill two not with yeah but it's like they hard you hard launch you come right out and say that you're in a relationship and split the bill to your sprinkle sprinkle for so it's an action I don't right. think but what does yeah. split the bill two mean that's what I'm trying to figure out <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying this person got so many comments that she turned them off yeah of Man. people just like essentially can, I, like, can you just like throw nonsense on the internet and then I be mysterious and see if like, like this so. is every time we talk about this stuff i'm like i just don't understand would it mean I, that you expect your your uppity friends to do half of the work to announce this hard lunch <laughs> no like you're splitting the bill like i'll do no. i'm gonna announce i'll do half the work you do half the work no not okay. at all i'm, I'm out then okay Did Brian yeah. give up? Okay. yeah I, I gave up a while ago <laughs> okay <laughs> as so, soon as he heard it <laughs> so a sprinkle sprinkle friend it's a mainly it's a term mainly used within the lgbtq plus community as uh, uh there's multiple definition i'm seeing here and the, the way they're saying it is sprinkle sprinkle could be changed depends on the context that it is used in and so it can mean like it's a new sleigh it could be like it's a, it's a, wait, a new sleigh yeah, instead of you, saying Santa Claus, a, what is instead that? Instead of saying it's a, a new day, you say it's a new sleigh type of thing. Uh, as um, to slay the day. You, mm-hmm, or and mm. sprinkle is a way to pass on knowledge or spread information. Uh, and it could or also be salt. a verbal mic drop. But I think within this context, this is the, so dumb. The sprinkle sprinkle <laughs> friends is like 
somebody who gossip, right? Like, okay, like people that makes sense. Kind of, kind of judge. See, hard launch them, so then it disseminates gonna, to the rest. Oh, of the just so you little got, bits uh, of information. So you got sprinkle, the first sprinkle. part, you got okay. the last part, and the splitting the bill is just a guy mm. who wants to split a bill on a date, unlike you know the typical. Hey, I'm gonna take care of this bill for us type idea. We're going Dutch, yeah. Yeah. So essentially, she's saying, "Oh, when when I'm hot launching this guy to my friend who are a little gossipy." Did you say hot or hard? I'm hard launching. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm hard launching a guy to my friends who are gossipy, but the fact that he is a type of guy to be like, "Hey, let's split this check instead of, hey, I'm gonna cover this for you." Is she's like, she's worried that she's gonna be embarrassed by this guy because, ah. or, or like, she she doesn't want these friends to like get on her case about dating a guy who wants. Oh to God, man, kind of that's play. confusing. But uh, yeah. that's what. Uh... Hey, listen, you got it in three minutes. I, it took me three weeks, okay? <laughs> anyway, and it doesn't help that she turns off the comment. I think she finally realized right. something. Well, she's done, see, but... that's that's where feminism, a hard line on feminism <clears throat> kind of bites in the ass because then you split the bill and you're like, that's kind of embarrassing. This guy yeah. should have picked up the check. Exactly. These are all interesting things that I feel are good to know to continue in younger society, I suppose. Oh, for sure, I, yeah. I just feel like they sound so ridiculous that I wouldn't <laughs> ever use that. I'm, I'm not oh, No, you're not ever... supposed to use it. You're supposed yeah, to I'm know never going to be in be. fear yeah. of being that old guy who looks like a fool trying to use something because I won't ever use it because it just... It's absurd. You don't want I to sound, you don't want to look like the uh Steve Buscemi uh meme. <laughs> Hello, hey, fellow, fellow kids. kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um I but... saw a thing that said uh, the millennials are getting old and like yeah. there's st- from this article, which is funny cuz I read this in an article but my wife and I were talking about this cuz we saw it. Tony, what type of socks do you wear? Listen, I saw this too. I'm getting into this. Hold on. Oh, everybody hold on here. It's going to bring coffee oh, out that's like that. so funny. Okay. <laughs> Depends on the day. Depends on the Winston situation. Winston did not expect that for me. <laughs> uh, but I saw this. There was They were talking about it on some morning show. And these girls in the audience were like, yeah, short socks, not the vibe. And this girl <laughs> behind them got, stole the microphone and went, I'm a Gen Z and I'm wearing short socks. I didn't get the memo on this. <laughs> so um, um, I feel like if you're wearing long pants, you wear long socks. If you're wearing shorts, you wear angle socks. <laughs> there you go. Okay. It's Winston. it's a situational thing. I don't think it's a vibe thing. I think it's just <laughs> this is what looks appropriate. Just listen, if it was the 1970s and you're wearing shorts that are so short your nuts are hanging out at the bottom of them practically, then you can wear tall basketball socks. But we're we are far <laughs> past that. Your nuts. <laughs> yeah. Can we can we bring yeah, back to tuck your the nuts in depending on how old you are? <laughs> So, okay. Uh, Fair answer, Winston. Yeah. S-S-C-K-S. What do I, like, what kind of socks do I wear? Yes. I wear, so I'm the opposite. It's a trend thing. It's a fashion thing. So, like, I'm wearing long pants. Sometimes I would pull off some short socks. It's like, it's a cool thing to do. It's like, you wear that with some low top sneakers. And it's like, that's the vibe. So, like. the low low socks with low top sneakers is a vibe? mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, with long pants though. So then you get that weird like crevice between your <laughs> shoes and your uh your, check your out legs. my ankle bones. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I could lift up my pants and show my ankles to the street, you know? Right. I yeah. hear that's a that's a hot that's a hot body part. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um but yeah, anyway, so that's what I do. But th- it's so funny because I've seen so many millennials <laughs> rock the the you know the, the the socks with the short combos that I'm just like I just have to laugh. What that's socks always, with the short combos? The short socks i mean the long socks with the short combos are do they have stripes on them yeah of course okay so in this article it was saying that those are the millennials trying to like stay cool and relevant but that's totally like a gen z thing it's usually like, like wearing a design the socks socks with the stripes too right it's not cool. not so much like stripes sometimes it could be like having like little designs on it like maybe like a, a like a chili pepper or something you know i feel like <laughs> it's i feel like it's a out of touch old person look. It's the socks with the the sandals look to me. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, it's yeah. like if you're showing if you're showing legs, you're showing legs, man. Like the whole point is, if you got shorts on, it's because it's freaking warm enough to wear shorts. Why are you continuing to cover your legs up? Tony's a utilitarian. Oh, I have is. no fashion sense. I'll just come right out and admit it. My family <laughs> will tell you. If they made, there was a children's clothing line, back me up on this, Brian, called Granimals. Granimals, yes. <laughs> and it was just like, hey, all of the lion stuff, you can mix yeah. and match all the lion yeah. stuff. Yeah. I it need was, adult Granimals because I was... can't, I can't mix and match things. I go, 
jeans and t-shirt okay there yes. you go good yeah. <laughs> and i've stuck with that and it works yeah Adult but gray animals yeah boy i just mm. well the, the winston funny... is the fashion guy and i'm the opposite of that that's for true sure. and i'm we only learned... a fashion guy because my parents was in the clothing industry in vietnam and that's why i'm like mm. like even as a this is the thing that pissed me off, right? My parents, a lot of time, they were always ahead of the curve when it comes to fashion stuff. So they always dressed me in like the best looking clothes. But it was the best looking clothes at the time. So looking back, I'm just like, oh, holy shit. What were you putting me in? You know, <laughs> like uh, I remember there was a it was. Did it you was, have confidence, though? Were you feeling cool? I was at the time. I was a child. I don't. I don't care. It's like you know. You don't. You don't. I. I think kids back then didn't really care what they were wearing. But it was like I remember my mom would put me in like uh so jean shorts, but it's like a basketball tank top type ordeal going on. I'm like like a jersey. <laughs> yeah, like a jersey with shorts. I'm like that's cool. But for back then, because it's like I would not rock jean short at all. But it's like oh, the yeah. part that blows me is you got to suit you. Yeah, that annoys me, blows me, annoys. <laughs> a part that annoys me is I would have this super fresh fit on, socks with <laughs> sandals right at the bottom. It's disgusting. I it's hate Vietnam, it. It's Vietnam, man. Yeah. Why was I wearing socks in Vietnam? It's Were like 90 it, There's a good yeah, question, too. That is that is a great no, question. No, I mean, uh, it was the sandals with the Velcro on them. Of course, oh, yeah. yeah, the slides, yeah. man. Yeah. I think we need yeah. some of these photos to post on social. I should. I should find I need some. some of those. Yeah. Winston, you're going to love this. I did. My mom was in some sort of a ladies group when I was growing up and I got put into like a fashion show that they were doing. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, wow. You want to know what's even funnier? I also did a fashion show as a kid. I, I was had like the coolest, latest Power Rangers attire at the oh, time. Oh, no way. Wow. It was, I will have to find a picture of that that I will also oh, post that's on social. Great. Great. I'm feeling a little yeah. left out. I was not in a fashion show as a child. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Damn, Ryan. Do, you have any, do you have any cool pictures of you looking like a doofus when you were younger? And Oh, man. I, I don't we know need, if we I've need clothing done. pics. I have, well, a, I have a pretty cool photo I can show you guys, actually. It's... You can just keep talking while I look for this photo, but it was a photo. <laughs> is of it an actual photo or is it like a photo on your phone? Do you have a, a, a picture? I can share the photo with you guys, but I have it on my phone. So here's a, a digital super, photo. Yeah. So here's a super dope photo of for people that's not watching. Put the ding right here, Brian. Um, <laughs> we'll post it a, later. It's a photo of me with my dad and I'm, I'm chilling with a dolphin. Well, you can't so, really see. Uh, it looks like two members of the Beatles. From, again, uh, from we like will post it later. Of the, yeah. Silhouettes anyway. of the Beatles. There you go. Oh, there you My go. Is on the dolphin. It's there you and Flipper. Go. Yeah. Oh, is yeah, that a real sure, dolphin? Sure. Yeah, it was a real dolphin. It wasn't so, like a cardboard <clears throat> cutout sitting there? That's cool. No, no. So in Vietnam, it's like, you know how you would go to Georgia Aquarium and like they do the dolphin show? It's like that, but you could pay extra to come up and touch the dolphin and take a photo with them. Right. And that's like, it was, it, my parents paid for that photo and that's why I have it. So it's like, that's pretty fucking sick. And that but, yeah. started Winston's dream to be a marine biologist. Never that. I, <laughs> I, I can't swim, so uh, never that. Really? You don't know how to swim? Yeah, I thought we had this conversation before why do I you almost, not know how to swim i almost drowned as a kid so now i have like ptsd so well, i can I never think that would be like motivation to learn how to swim so the no drowning I'm like, doesn't happen. it's a fear of water it's like i can be in water because of how tall i am but i can't swim in water like i we're gonna have so to put winston through literal immersion therapy <laughs> So, so funny enough, right? Like I almost, so I was about eight, nine years old and I almost drowned as a kid in, in like this pool because I was, I was walking and then I got to the deep end and my foot kind of slipped and I just couldn't get out of it. And so I was bouncing up and down. So the lifeguard pulled me out of it. And so afterward I didn't like, I was drinking, like I, I didn't take a bunch of water while I was under, but my dad freaked out. So he was like, damn, we got to like enroll this kid in like some swimming classes. Yeah. So that's what, that's what we did. I have to be the first kid to fail swimming classes because like for whatever oh. reason it was like a it was like a 10 weeks course and even after they pay all this money I still couldn't swim like I, I have the basic understanding of swimming but if you were to throw me in the deep end right now like a 12 foot pool I don't think I can swim for real wow. like I can maybe kind of like float to the top a little bit but well, then the I mean, panic will kick in of... no the panic will kick in and that's when I can't I can't swim at all because i'm like failing around you know instead of just like you know yeah floating. there's i mean there's steps to it you learn how to like float on wow. your back and then doggy paddle and then you can't flow on my back can't doggy i can probably doggy paddle but it's like i won't be able to keep myself afloat 
and then like i can't keep my breath going like it's it's a bunch of like what's it called so it's well, like you, forget, you have to keep breathing you can't stop breathing, that is man. that is the key yeah. that is the key right wow so floaties <laughs> for you in the pool yeah <laughs> so tony that's said, freaking great to bro tony said need to start a patreon before you get a pool stream we really oh that's henry saying pool stream one that's funny uh-huh. we should totally do a pool stream that'd be cool yeah i said pool yeah. stream goes behind a paywall <laughs> what's the dodo goal <laughs> is, that, uh, is that a is that a speedo pool stream that'll be cool right it's like no, you can see not. me flailing around in my in a speedo do we uh, get a do we get a calendar ready for next year <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're gonna go to medieval times and we're gonna do a, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man we're gonna do we're gonna do a hot tub stream while we're at it <laughs> yeah Just three, who knows, three who knows firefighters that we can borrow some gear from <laughs> <laughs> I believe uh, there's a uh, there's a picture in the yearbook of me in a speedo. No, I don't think we took no our way. swimming photos. No, I was on the swim team, so so I did have to wear a speedo a few hours a day, Would several cap? hours a day. Would yes. Oh yeah, oh, man, yeah. Because I actually terrible. had lots of hair back then. Ah, oh, jeez. There was a there was a thing that I was gonna say to you about you being in Miami and stuff, and I I don't remember. I did not smuggle drugs. Okay. Have you ever heard of a place called Eleven? Eleven is it a club? Yeah. So clubs change names a lot of times. Hmm. So I don't off the top okay. of my head remember a club it, called Eleven, but it it might be it I've might been even several be, clubs in Miami. Right. Okay. It might even be a newer thing. So that's that's why. Um uh, but apparently the people that would go to like or like the girls that would work in Eleven are like extremely good looking and they apparently That's most people can, in Miami. <laughs> right. But apparently being a bottle service girl there, you can rack in three to four hundred K a year. That yeah, like, it was it's that type of level. But somebody posted on TikTok and said, like, if you ever, you know, have low self-confidence or whatever, and you don't have any money, that's the best place to go to. Because <laughs> you will go in there and, you know, these girls would think you have money and they will come up and talk to you and like, hey, you should go with me, yada, yada and stuff. And you would just straight up tell them no, is what he said. It's like you would reject every girl that comes up to you. And they're going to be 10 out of 10 model looking. And then once you leave, you're going to be like, oh, my God, I, I can't believe I just did that. Like, it's the idea that's like, oh, all these hot girls coming up trying to talk to you. But it's the fact that they're, you know, they're trying to get money from you yes. but because you don't have any money. You're rejecting them. That's <laughs> what will boost your confidence level. That's an odd so, way to go about it. Are, are you like dipping into like red pill territory, uh, social media? No, content? no, 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 not at all. So- not at all. It was just it was just a random like it was just this random TikTok talk that I got and it was like you guys ever heard about 11 and then that's when it proceed to talk about and so I was like but no I'm not I'm not digging into <laughs> Red Pill. but yeah like and that's why I was like I've never I've never heard of it and so that's why I was like I wonder if Brian heard of it and so that's why I was gonna ask no, I don't. Uh, I was never in a. Uh, it, I was always in the general population area. I was never in areas that had okay. bottle service. Yeah, no, I had friends down there who knew bartenders, so we could get you know hooked up on some drinks. Right. Because I mean, this is years ago, but I remember going. We were at we were at a pool bar during the day, and we got rum runners, and they were like twenty bucks a piece for a drink. Right. Like you know, that's that's ridiculous. You know, to spend like twenty dollars on add one drink. My buddy that lived down there who we were going out with, he knew a lot of people in the service industry, so we could get hooked up, you know, with drinks here and there. But yeah. it was still, uh, Miami's still very expensive, you know, like $25 yeah. to get through the door. I've heard, you know, it's even more than that probably now. That was, you know, that was years ago. It's like 50 now, probably, right? Probably. Well, I mean, I would imagine. Yeah. A lot of times you'd see some cool DJs, though, and that yeah. was that was always really neat. And then you just kind of hop and down, hop up and down, you know, the, yeah. the, the, the beach there. I don't know. It's just that's one of those places where... Where, like I, I want to go, but I don't think I could ever afford going. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would enjoy it through media. Like if I'm playing a video game or if I'm, you know, I'm watching a movie, I'm like, oh, it's Miami. That's cool. But like, I'm not going to like go down to Miami. Yeah, I mean, South Beach is amazing. I'm I mean, sure I, it is. Yeah. I made, I, I made nothing. When, when I went down there, I was working at Disney, so I wasn't making a ton. Again, this was years ago, so I'm sure it's right. gone up, you know, exponentially. But there's some really, really cool places packed in right one after another. Yeah. Is it Ocean Boulevard? Is that what it's called? Ocean right. Drive. Ocean yeah. Drive. Yeah, like that's the one place that I want to go because I mean it's iconic, right? It's like yeah, uh, and yeah. you have all those Art Deco buildings and yeah. like you know, I, my my friend that lived there was like he could have been a tour guide because it's like all yeah. right, we'll start out, we'll swing into this hotel bar, <laughs> we'll grab a drink here, right. and then we'll go to this next one. This place is really cool, and then the next one has like you know some some like salsa music or whatever, and then mm. like yeah, there's just I mean it is really 
just unbelievable the amount of cool places you can go. But again, that's when I was in my 20s. I, I, now you tell me we're going to go on a bar hopping journey of like six different like, places. I'm, I'm like, that okay. Sounds, that's, yeah. Yeah, that sounds no, exhausting. I mean, I, I don't think I can do that anymore. I'm like, I'm an unk status. You're, now, you're you. an unk status, but you're a young unk status. Yeah, but it's like, I, I can't drink. I, I don't want to go to the club. It's loud. I'm like, I. it's like, don't get me wrong. It's loud. It's, like, <laughs> it's loud. It's like, it's gone to that point where you're going to wear earbuds going into to freaking oh uh, man you uh, are old you're old at 25 that like at 25 is probably when i was going to these clubs in miami yeah yeah but i feel like i got that out of my system since i was younger yeah? no, was it in know. your system did it get out <laughs> was there ever really a, a need to go no no um i don't know it's like i i've had my fun is like that's is cool what i realized i think it's like I guess if I wasn't like, you know, doing stuff like this where I'm working like all day and then I'm doing podcast stuff, then maybe I'll go. Cause like there's nothing else to, to look kind of like forward to. But like now it's like I like to spend time with my girlfriend. I like to spend time with my my parents. I like to spend time yeah. with my friends. And that's why I'm like, I don't really care about going to the club anymore. No, that's cool. That's probably a healthy endeavor. But I think <laughs> but I, I but I, I really think the reason why I don't want to do it is because of how how shitty the clubs are here in Atlanta. Really? Well, I can't I can't tell you from I've, today, but I, yeah, I, I mean, I've gone to I've gone to a lot of them and I think I'm like I'm about sick of it is what it is. Yeah. Is it the same type of people? Is it too expensive? Like I, I have not been to cl clubs in years, but I, I did definitely hit a lot of the clubs in Atlanta when I got here. Yeah. So coming I mean, from Orlando, it depends on the one, but it's like a lot of the one has really terrible DJs. And that's what I've like. That's what turned me off from going to these places. I'm just like, and the music stinks. You know. What I mean? So what are they playing? Are they playing the latest? They're playing TikTok dubstep. Hits? No, they're playing dubstep. Is what it oh. is. It's like or dubstep mix of a certain song. So it gotten to the point where like me and my friends would go to the club and we would write on our like on our phone that said this DJ suck and we'll just hold it up in front of the DJ. It's like we'll, we'll stand in front of the DJ booth, hold up our phone that said this DJ suck or this really? set suck and we'll just hold it up. It's like it's such a common thing now that like me and my friends do. It's like it's super disrespectful but we don't care because it's like dude if you're gonna suck like you're gonna suck. Interesting. See mm -hmm. we would go based on who the DJ was or if it was somebody we knew and somebody that was good. Yeah. Yeah, but that's like, that's what I, I don't do that anymore. Like, it's like, I guess because of how bad these places, we don't know who these DJs are. They're, most of the time, they're all locals. Well, that's so fine. We, locals are fine. But then if somebody's good, then you know they're good. Tony, yeah, we, I, I imagine you have I'd, a lot to add to this conversation. No, that's I, it's a good time for me to uh, <laughs> have a small emergency because I have, I've never been to a club. I have no desire to go to a club. Wait, you've never You're been right. to any club at all? You're not missing anything. Exactly. Well, Thank you. I do. I, mean, I do feel like you should experience it at least once listen, in your life. Just he's to too old now, right? Let me, yeah. let me turn in a token. <laughs> Within the past couple years, me and my wife were annual pass holders at Disney World. Uh, and one of our stays, we stayed at Disney's Boardwalk. Very nice resort. And the one evening we came back from... From the parks and we're like let's check out what they've got going on here at the boardwalk so at the end of the boardwalk is atlantic dance hall which right. to me feels very much like a club there's a dance floor there's a dj there's a is bar. that the, is, isn't that where they used to have swing dancing we've talked about swing dancing before we, we have and maybe i've already told this story but there was nobody there <laughs> not a soul people working and somebody playing music there was no one at the bar, no one on the dance floor. Yeah, and we like, we like walked out. in and everybody like wild animals turned to look at us and we're like, <laughs> oh, we're not uh, supposed to be here. <laughs> just, no just thanks. Leaves. Yeah, it, it really felt like Retro record scratch. Yeah. Um, it, it really did, felt like oh, customers, I will... customers, customers, customers. We're like, no, no, was back daylight, out slowly, though, or... sorry. Well, first yeah. of all, was it daylight and we're, what kind of music was it? No, I'm telling you, it's like 10, 30, 11 Ooh, geez. Yeah, that's and bad. there's this nobody is... in this place and I'm going, uh, it's uh -oh. a place for family, man. Nobody's going to the club. You know what I mean? I, Listen, I've there's mentioned... a lot of adult stuff at Disney to do, but <laughs> that's as that's as clubby as I've gotten. And I went, I didn't like it when there was nobody there, and I don't yeah. like people. So why would but it I was go... like it was the club music though? It wasn't you would, swing you music would have there? to be able to Not go swing. with a group of people that does enjoy it for you to be able to enjoy it i agree but i do th and i'm do not think... friends with those types of people so right but i do think if you but i do think but i do think let me ask you this would you go to a club if they have really good food if they had really good food and they were playing like it's a restaurant 90s that's double as a bar 
then that's okay. not a club. That's not a club. Clubs I'm, do not serve. That's a yeah, lounge. I'm not looking at I, a again, lounge. And, and it's a I'm lounge. Looking, yeah, I'm not looking for something. Music from the past, like twenty years, I don't give. Yeah, two craps about because I just I don't like it. No, we're talking about EDM. We're talking about yeah. the you know. Yeah, you Winston's know, going. The, the, oh, they're the, playing the, dubstep, and I go absolutely freaking yeah. out. Right. <laughs> going to bring up my first time ever like going into like one of these bars slash club area i was so it's like i was 17 i was able to get in it was it was senior frogs you, did i ever tell you guys a senior frog story <laughs> uh, senior nope. frogs is in mexico isn't it no senior it's frogs a chain is, it's a chain it's a chain of bars that's across the u.s and <laughs> i was a senior in high school <laughs> this is like winston going to like he's going i went to margaritaville we're going exactly <laughs> okay so no frogs. but let me, yeah so so I, so we were 17. We were on our class trip. And so it was me and all my friends. And you got to remember, I went to a private Christian school. So all of us is like, we're like a bunch of dweebs is all it is. right? <laughs> and so we were walking around this like South Carolina boardwalk. And then there was a senior frogs. We heard music pumping. There was people in there. There was, you know, freaking disco lights and stuff. We're like, it was freaking sick, man. Let's try to get in here. So we asked them, we're like, hey, can we get in? But like, we, we're not trying to like. <laughs> we're you know, 12. We're, we're not going to drink. We're not going to drink anything. Can we get in? And they're like, yeah, sure. We'll just put a stamp on your thing. So the thing is, they're like, you have to be 18 to get in. Yeah. So at this point, it was like May, like 15, May 7 or something. And I'm like, dude, I'm turning like 18 in yada yada day. I'm yada like, day, May yeah. 30th is my birthday. Can I just get in? He's like, sure, man. But I'm gonna really? The, yeah. So the, the security guard was super cool about it. Put a freaking like stamp my hand, put a like little what's it called on it. So we all got in there somehow. So everyone who was 18 or like roughly almost 18. (laughs) Yeah. Like like, we were able to get it. So it was about maybe six to eight of us that was in there. And it was weird. It was a weird like vibe because it was a bar. It was a totally like totally a bar, but there was a dance floor and there was a DJ playing live music and it's on a boardwalk. So it's like right by the water and you can hear like the freaking ocean sound and stuff. And so we were all in there like we were dancing, we were jamming, but like none of us were drinking. So now like looking back i'm like i don't know how i could do that like not drunk like i guess it's being a young people <laughs> thing. And it's like oh holy shit we're finally in the club you know yeah man you were but, just excited but like the most criminal thing about this whole thing is and i don't even know if we can talk about this on sh- like in the recording <laughs> you might have to cut it out in the actual recording Jeez, but we started off with the, racism now for, I guess. yeah but for the six people that's in stream let's tell the story so there was i have a friend uh let's give her a fake name let's call her um annie em- emilia so Amelia was there and she was with all of us and we were all like, you know, on the on the dance floor dancing and the DJ played really good music that day. So she started dancing and this old guy started coming up and dancing with her and she's like throwing it back on him. She doesn't know who it is. She's just like having fun. And then we saw it and one of my friend walk up to this guy and just get in his like ears and just goes, she's 17, by the way. Oh. And then just walk away. Oh, and man. so and so literally like at least he walked away, right? You know, no, my friend walked away and then this guy oh, just wait, stood, the old guy. Oh the old guy is just like having a freaking panic attack. He's like, <laughs> what the fuck? And so like we're like dancing and then we turn around, and this guy is gone. Like he's <laughs> nowhere to be seen. He's just good. Gone if, up and if left. The story <laughs> ended good. with he doubled yeah. down, then I'm yeah, afraid. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But man. yeah, it's the fact that he just got up and out of there. It's <laughs> what kills us every time and stuff. but it was it was like it was like what what were we doing in there at 17 18 you know but um i guess that, that was so that was my first time ever in a club and then like i didn't go again until i turned 21 i i guess you if if tony never experienced it when he was younger at this point i don't think he would be interested in i think you have no. to like dancing too i mean that's that's, true. that's yeah, generally I'm too late for that yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know what I do in the club? I'd be doing this. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> like yeah. That's what I do. Yeah, it's just a hand movement. I don't know. It just looks so awkward if you actually try to dance in the club. Oh, man, in Orlando, I'm... you would, I mean, p- that's why people would be going. People would be really? dancing. Yes, more. Yeah. There's more people dancing than not. And mm. a lot of times it was it was because it was good DJs. Yeah. I mean, you know, again, it might have been the places, but yeah, like people were there to dance. Right. I also you... feel like because I'm married, there's also no reason to go to a club. Yeah, no, that's true. And like, that's that's how I feel. It's like I have a girlfriend. I have a loving girlfriend. There's no reason for me to be in the club. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, true. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, you wouldn't you wouldn't go together? I mean, but my, my girl, wife and my I have girl, been to the club. No, my you know, girlfriend doesn't. Times. No, my girlfriend doesn't go. Like she's kind of like Tony, where she doesn't want to go at all, and it's just like the music is too loud. And I and I get it. Like I totally get like her point of view. So I totally wouldn't like. I wouldn't force her ever. But if she goes, hey, I want to like go to see what it's about. I'll be like, sure, I'll take you. But like, I'm not gonna go in there with the mindset of we're going to have a party. I'm like, I'm gonna take you to show you what it's like, and then we're leaving, and then that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like you're not allowed to drink ten drinks while you're here. <laughs> but uh, I don't know that you could yeah. afford ten drinks while you're there. I, I that's yeah. that's a, as I I've gotten older. That's the thing about going out. You're like, yeah, but I could get some drinks at home and to be like exactly, exactly. Oh, exactly. Yeah. But uh, before we before we wrap up and stuff, do you Brian? Do, can, do you remember your first like clubbing experience? Like oh geez, like that. So like I just told you mine. So I wonder what like do you if you remember. So yours. this is <laughs> this is so I don't know if it's embarrassing, but it kind of feels embarrassing. So back when I was in high school, there was this all ages club, or no, even in like middle school, yeah. there were like clubs, like all ages or like kids clubs. That you would go and play. You know, you'd be a bunch of kids in a dark room with lights and dancing <laughs> and stuff. I mean, it's like prom, so, man. That doesn't count. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, in addition to prom. There mm -hmm. was there was a club I I'm I, I had to have been in seventh or eighth grade yeah. that like let kids in and then even in high school I remember my buddy Tom and I would go up to this club called Off the Alley yeah it was like what you would be like your alternative club so you'd hear like uh, sort of industrial music and what different types of, yeah and you dance <laughs> you know and we yeah. would go up there and it was it was you know cool as like a you know it was an all or uh, you know, you could get in under under 21, you know, and like yeah. people weren't, you know, drinking. It was like a you know, younger kids club, which is just very weird now to think about. But mm -hmm. did either of you have besides prom, did you either of you have like school dances? Yeah, I never had a real prom. I had a banquet at the end of every year because they wanted yeah, to be Christian inclusive. school. Yep. Yeah. So, no, I, I never had like a real prom nor any other dances. It's like you get a banquet at the end of the year and then that's it. Oh, they, don't yeah. want you, they don't want you dancing. That's why you're not yeah. allowed to. It's Brian, yeah. Oh, we had tons of dances, but I I want I want to know if Winston has seen Footloose. Like that's what that's, that's with Kevin Bacon with Kevin James in it. No, no you had Bacon? you had it right, Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon, yeah, no, yes. I know. <laughs> but, Not Kevin James. I don't think he's. I dancing, would love but... to see Kevin James in Footloose. Just AI, so, just, yeah, just a full remake. Yeah, type it, type it. <laughs> no, we uh, there was day. I loved going to dances. Uh, they had dances uh, all the way in. Uh, I don't know if they had them in grade school, but definitely junior high and high school. Yeah. yeah. I and had then middle they, school and high school dances. Yeah. yeah they and, had just dances and then and, you had your formal dances. And I, and I tell you, I love seeing like these DJ that plays at like high school, like, or like middle school dances. And then they're uploading these videos to like TikTok. And holy cow, the embarrassment that these kids gonna get in <laughs> ten years. Yep, astronomical. Ten, I don't even. We think didn't. 10, we didn't yeah. have any of that. It was there was there was a video of this little kid. He was like, he's in. It's a dance circle. Nobody's dancing, and it's just him standing in the middle. And it's like he looks like he's about to bust a move, like he was about to break dance or whatever. <laughs> and he like, you know, like when you did that spinny move, Brian, when you like it with your hand, like in break dancing. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Where your legs is kicking up in the sky and you're spinning. Yes. He looks like windmill. he was about to, yeah, he was about to attempt a windmill and then he kind of like does it and then half does it and then he kind of stood up and kind of like shook his head and he just walked back to the crowd. <laughs> and it's like, and then for whatever reason, like at one, no, before all of that, at one point, like he got to the ground, like he's about to do a push up. And like he pushed himself up and then like he like got in like different position like he was about to dance but he just never did it <laughs> and all of that just to go back to the crowd oh my god i on can't tape. I, yeah on, on, on tape oh, and i man. can't wait till he see that video when he's like 16 17 peak puberty where it, yeah. no, it's nothing that's, but like anxiety and stress that's in your head and right gonna, so just add just throw this on that pile oh yeah he's gonna lay in kid. bed at night and it will be like 3 a.m. He's not going to be able to sleep. And that's going to be the thought that he'll be it. 40. It'll be 3 a.m. <laughs> and that's what he's going to think about. <laughs> See, the good thing is for me and Brian's generations, like we had all uh, that. It's yeah. just not, and it, it's it, not captured. It, it's to remember oh, yeah, now. exactly. Thank goodness. But, like, but like high school and middle school dances consisted of me hanging out with my friends and yeah. standing against the wall yeah. and trying to build up the courage to ask that girl you like for the one slow dance before uh, the night was over. That was yeah. it. You yeah. Know? yeah. You didn't but dance can... during like, you know, like all the songs. So me here, and my friend, again, me and my friends were all nerds. I've always okay. been, I've always I, been a freaking nerd. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna Tony throw and his friend. Songs. Tony and his friend hit this pose <laughs> <laughs> yeah. with the cop. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We're discussing we're discussing uh, you know the latest anime and you know oh, latest hilarious. episode of Dragon Ball Z. And, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna throw out the, the the songs that come to my mind when I think of school dances that were like super awesome. So I'm gonna start from earlier, and it was uh, Modern English. I stopped the world and met with you. Do you know Good that one. song? Okay. You've, <laughs> <laughs> you've you've got you've got the Cure and uh, Just Like Heaven. Just like no? Heaven. Some familiar. Oh, that's okay. Not the one I thought. But okay. And then and then earlier than that, uh, I remember Queen at a school dance and like, you know, just like ja- like people would play jams and people would go nuts. But but yeah, I, I guess that's not the case now. Like what were they playing at your school dances, Tony? Like what's the song you would remember them playing? They were playing oh. gospel at mine. <laughs> gospel, <huh? laughs> it was a lot of I remember there's a lot of boy bands. There's, you know, it's Yeah, NSYNCs. Uh, yeah. Early, early two thousands. You're yeah. getting that. You're getting a Britney Spears. You know. So um, here's a here's a cool fun fact about me. Since we're talking about school dances, I was actually the host of my senior school dance. The host, the, like yeah, the MC. Hmm. I, I I ran the whole show, man. It was pretty cool. Uh, I I got like tons of daps up and fist bumps and stuff. And, and I, ever I, since I think then, that's he's wanted I, a podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's where I peak, and it's it kind of went down. No, here. don't peak in high school. We I joke with my kids. <laughs> I joke with my kids about that all the time about pe- yeah. uh, people that peaked in high school. It oh, was yeah. sad because I went to I went to a college th- about three hours from where I went to high school. So there yeah. was there was a lot of people that went to uh to the same college that that were in in my high school older and younger right and i remember <laughs> at a party uh one time this is like a, this is probably like second i think year uh you know in on a balcony and a dude that i went to high school with a, a year older than me uh-huh. we're like you know out on the porch just talking and drinking and stuff and he's like you know he kind of like you know so, you know leans on the railing next to me and he's like you know sometimes i kind of miss like you know going to the high school football games and I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? Give like, up. Yeah. I'm sorry you peaked in high school. This kid was cool in high school. Yeah. And I think he was in college and just kind of like, you know, just kind of fell into that, you know, yeah. sea of faceless people. That's, it always made me sad. <laughs> that's like when you talk to like a high school like sport player, you're like, yeah, I could have gone professional. It's like, give up, man. You're an yeah. accountant. Yeah. Just, just go do your job. So, <laughs> you yeah. know, you got like, peaked in high school and then you got 13th graders, the ones that don't oh, uh, yeah. move on and kind of hang around uh, after that. They call which, a super senior. Super senior? <laughs> yeah, super seniors. That's what That's they nice call way, it, wouldn't it? Speaking of peaking, <laughs> I'm going to wrap us up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. I was going to say, I will say this before you do wrap up. There was two super senior in my high school, and we were making fun of them all the time. They just come and hang around like at all the events like after? No, no, no. This is the one that never graduated, and they had to retake the class. So oh, stuck around. super yeah. duper senior. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can now wrap Sh- up. <laughs> shout, shout out to them. See how they're doing, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're still in Vietnam. <laughs> No, they were here in America. Oh, oh, that's right. You graduated <laughs> here. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks for listening. If you liked what you heard, tell a friend. New listeners definitely help us out. Rate and subscribe wherever you're listening so you don't miss out on new episodes. If you want us to talk about something, we talked about Dirt for the Dirt Man. Hey, man. Thank Send you. It. Thank you, Jude. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah Jude, the heck out of that. Shout you out again. Send us an email like Jude did at podcast XYZ, XWHYZ at gmail.com. You can always join us here live when we do our recordings on Twitch. You can find out when we go live by following us on Instagram. You can watch us on YouTube. You can follow us on TikTok. You can go watch me open my discount Ray-Bans that we discussed last episode. It's on TikTok in all of its glory. And you can always go check us out at our home on the web where we have our merch store link. We have Winston's Watch and Listen List that he does sometimes listen to Mm -hmm. things from there. You can find all of that at podcastxyz.podbean.com and with that we will see everybody next time see ya see everybody